And here you are with the pop star. So how was the festival for you, Puck? Wonderful. Better than last year. Yeah? No record. And not taking on too much last year when we didn't have enough people. Different situation. Well, you were running the bagpipe stage last year, so... Uh, we've already... It's better this year. We're inside the festival more, uh, not in the car park over there, but actually inside the sacred mandala that I believe Colin will be created. We're inside the festival. I've had a bit of a comeback for what I do. Doing more music about the place after not having really done it for a couple of years. Bits and pieces threaded through, but more concerted. Not really watch much to what to say. It has been wonderful weather. A bit of threatening cloud at some point, but we're battling through. I've been quite tired come the... Um, I've had, had to zonk out for periods of time, but that's not to be unexpected. And uh, as I say, done a few gigs, um, done everything that I can. We did a wonderful cabaret here on the Sunday night, um, this Earth Circus Climate Change Cabaret, um, which Phoenix and I compared, and I did a set afterwards. How did you feel it went? Did you enjoy it? Well, it, it, it was it was certainly happening. It wasn't a feeling of wanting to wanting to get more people in there, or, or that we weren't that we weren't full enough or the action wasn't interesting enough. The acts were great and there was a good steady flow of people through there, people who were interested in people and a changing kind of atmospheres that the different musics created and the different acts. A bit of juggling, a bit of music, a bit of dancing. Some of it even had climate themes. <laughs> Which tended to maybe to the um, if you were slightly polarised in that way, the sort of anti, the sort of climate aware one tend to be slightly, maybe slightly um, angry um, uh, diatribes or, or like um, songs about world leaders and things like that. And the artistic explorations were very beautiful. It's trying to strike a balance between the two. I was wondering how you sort of draw people in and give them a nasty message about what's going on in the environment. Mm -hmm. Not nasty, but you have to be creative about it. I suppose that's the purpose of the whole camp. That's why I'm glad that we're inside the festival now with the campaigns. More people can get to see that. Also coming for dance or theatre and stuff like that. They can see a, a part of the consciousness awakening that is to do with the political awakening, which is to do with an environmental awakening. All equal awakenings, I think, are part of the same thing. Realising your connection with the planet and the universe can also come with a realisation of the degradation of it. And also then when we join together we can maybe think what we can do about it. And even at this hour, which is said to be quite late. Lots of people have been talking about the 2012-2013 change. I know different people have different opinions about that. Some people say it's nothing. Some people seem to be centering things around it. Change somehow for the better. So it just makes sense in a world of complete sort of like messed up poisonedness. And there's a sort of healing in it as well that is inherent in that because it goes too far. We shall see. This is the rainbow. The rainbow is there. You can see the one tribe. One, one, one world feeling emanating through it. You'll notice it's held together with bits of polyprop and, um, well, yes, here's one. Pegs made out of wooden pallets. Uh, maybe unlike something like the Bimble Inn, which is like a re really elegant structure, held together very professionally, much bigger. This is a, a rainbow construction from, uh, made from bits and pieces. Looks very space goaty to me. Yes, it's like a little, a little pen, a geodesic pen. But it was great to get such a fabulous structure as well. I didn't realize we were going to be uh, quite this magnificent. It is magnificent, isn't it? 
Well, all the, 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 bit, all the pieces have to come from somewhere. I know the ones you can't see it here, but over just the third dome on the far side, yeah. there's Clive's dome, which was a whole story to get here. Mm -hmm. and then there's a, which is made of wood, and then with metal connectors, and then there's a big metal one, which is the main body. Behind us there is Rosie's dome, which is made out of twigs with plastic connectors, more or less. We didn't see it all tested in, in a full-on deluge, as was last year. Oh no, was it last year? No, we had good weather last no, year too. It was last year, actually. Yeah, we didn't see it tested like that. No, we had the bad weather before we started the festival this year, and it has been yes, largely dry since, hasn't it? Largely, we had a little bit. A bit of rain on the first night that I was here, on the, whenever it was, Wednesday night. And as a festival as a whole, what did you feel the festival did this year compared to last year? Well, there was definitely more people here to be seen. I imagine, I mean, having spent all of the festival pretty well in, the, in that field over there, I didn't get to see what it was like in here. But there weren't that many people relatively last year, which is not to be unexpected because it was a first attempt at something. A lot of people who I spoke to or seemed to be very unhappy after the festival about this and that. <coughs> Mostly to do with financial things and not being paid by the people who put it on. And, I, and that was also seemed like, that didn't seem like particularly strange or outlandish that that had happened either. I suppose um, this is a risky business. I was thinking of, of how much conviction people have to sort of do this in a, in a proper way and also um, also, the, the roots of, of it, of how far they go back um, and how strong they are among, by the roots I mean the people and, and their commitment to the vision throughout their lives that have put it on, maybe the, 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 the predecessors, sorry, the, the previous incarnations of this dome in sort of stone, like in London or somewhere like the Rainbow Centre saw the meeting of quite a good Kentish town, saw the meeting of a lot of people who were involved with putting on what was then, who were still involved with putting on what this dome is representing and containing now. So it has a continuity to it, and that continuity also goes on the level of the um, larger running and setting up the festival, because people who met then still sort of doing the same thing. Um, so in what ways would you say Sunrise Festival as a whole has in some ways emanated from that squatted rainbow church in Kentish Town? To what well, extent was it a, a dream of those days that has taken 15 years to materialize? I think I must have to say certainly. I don't know what else this is. Um, it's, part, it's part of a dream. Um, um, an important part of a dream for people simply to come together again. It's kind of like a, a beautiful expression of it. Um, other people I've seen who've gotten involved throughout the years, and other scenes that I've been involved with throughout the years, different kinds of, um, different shades of motive that people have. Different kind of slices as to where they're coming from. I kind of, I'm glad that the campaigns is in the festival, because maybe last year I thought the festival was kind of wonderful, but, but maybe more on the entertainment level and not too much on the um, environmental awareness level, which I think if you're going to have a festival of any of any, um, of any importance in this day, right now in this day and age, it needs to be a featuring environmental awareness as a relevant issue, and uh, the, en the entertainment is sort of kind of, kind of geared around that, I suppose. Um, if it's going to be future thinking at all. I think the issues that have been brought up by the campaign are very relevant issues. <laughs>